beautiful people. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today I am reviewing a very cool gadget, and that is a portable speaker. Now, if you play your instrument, tin whistle, ocarina, flute, whatever you guys play, and you play it out and about busking or at events, and you'd like to be heard to a wider audience, then this little speaker is perfect for that. As you can see, it comes portable. It can clip to your belt by this little. Belt clip at the back, or you can lay it down somewhere, and whatever you put into this, it will project out sound that is louder than your instrument is on its own. It also adds echo or reverb to whatever you're playing. So if you're playing tin whistle in an area where the acoustics aren't great, you can add that gorgeous echo sound to your playing, which always makes it sound absolutely magical. So instantly for me, this is a hit. Now this super cool little gadget was sent to me by FluteShop.eu. You guys can find out more information on what FluteShop actually do linked in the description down below and up here on the little i. You can also see their website here on screen. Now I have had a few other instruments from FluteShop before. They have an amazing selection of stuff. Uh, I actually have an ocarina and a Native American flute from FluteShop, but there is loads of stuff on their website, so please do check it out. Uh, if you click on the link in the description, I don't get any money. I don't make anything. They just send me cool stuff from time to time to show you guys, and I'm really pleased they sent this because I absolutely love it. So let me tell you some more about it. Firstly, this speaker is chargeable, so you can charge it with the included cable. It is a European cable, so you will need an adapter if you're in the UK or if you're elsewhere. But you charge it up and then you take it with you, and then it is this small portable size. As I've mentioned, you can hook it onto your belt with this buckle at the back, or you can just lay it down somewhere and project your sound through it. And that works by connecting a microphone on a headset to your actual speaker. Now there are two ways to connect a microphone to this speaker. One is via a cable, so you pop the headset on. Adjust your mic and attach your cable into your device on the top here where it says mic. Then you're ready to go with your connected mic, and this is perfect if you're keeping this little speaker hooked to your belt. But if you're roaming away from your speaker and you don't want to be connected to it, there is a second option, and that is via Bluetooth receiver. So I also have a Bluetooth microphone headset here, which looks exactly like this one, but. It's a wireless way of connecting a speaker to the device, so I'll get this out and show you how it works. So as I mentioned, you have a wireless headset, just like the previous one, with a receiver here, and the other part of your receiver here, which attaches to your speaker. So all you need to do is unplug your wired settings, plug in your wireless Bluetooth adapter or receiver. And then you're ready to go wirelessly. You can roam away from your speaker, and you're not hooked up with cables. You're just wireless and free to roam. One thing you will need to do is charge both the receiver and the microphone before using the Bluetooth wireless settings, and you can do that by this double-ended USB, which you can plug into both at the same time and charge simultaneously. Now this speaker can be used with other instruments. It's basically a mini amp, so it does come with other amp attachments as well, and a little strap here as well if you want to put it over your shoulder. One final cool gadget it comes with is a little remote control. So if you are placing the speaker down and walking around wirelessly with your wireless headset, you can still control anything that's going on on the speaker with the remote. Now the speaker itself has a number of different settings. It also has an aerial. Which is right here on the top, and that is because this is also a radio. So it's great if you're perhaps going camping or you're going away on holiday or vacation with friends. You can take this and you can actually listen to radio music. You can even plug in any of your tunes via this USB port right here, and you can play music through this as well. And what you could also do is you could get backing tracks prepared on some sort of USB device. Plug it into this, play your backing tracks through this speaker, and also play along using reverb and echo with your wireless or wired microphone options. So this is—it's a little gig in a tiny speaker, and it is so simple to use. So let me show you the coolest feature of this Fortin whistle, and that is the reverb feature, otherwise known as the echo. To set that up with the wired headpiece, I put this headset on. Position my microphone away from my mouth and my nose to avoid unnecessary breath blowing from your whistle out onto the mic, and I pop this into the mic slot on the speaker. 
You can see the top of the speaker here has a selection of knobs and buttons. When we turn the device on, we turn this knob on the left. Bluetooth mode. Once you've turned your speaker on, it will tell you what mode it is in. We're currently in Bluetooth mode, and that is perfect for using a microphone. If you press one of the mode buttons along the top here, you can also tune to the FM radio. But for now, we're going to use the mic. So in order to be heard from your microphone, you need to turn up the volume. And as we turn the volume up, you'll hear that my voice is actually coming through the speaker rather than just through my microphone, which I have down here. So currently I'm now speaking and picking up through my mic, but also through the speaker as well. Now at the moment you may be able to hear there is no reverb, but there is a little bit of squeaking, and that is because of this mic and the mic that I'm using for recording sound. But if I turn up the echo, you might be able to hear my voice echoing slightly. La 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 la. Oh, and now we have the echo, the reverb, the delay. So let's see the difference that makes with a tin whistle. This is the amplified sound without echo. And this is the amplified sound with echo. You can also hear that if we change to FM mode or the radio. FM mode. And we lift the antenna, we get to pick up some radio. So as you can see, there are some pretty cool features. Now there are lots of adjustments you can make to the tuning of your radio. You can use the buttons along the top here to skip your uh, music if you're playing music through it, skip your backing tracks if you're playing backing tracks through it. You can even add a micro SD card right here and play things directly from that as well. So it is a multi versatile tool and it really enables you and your instrument to be heard. Now you can use this for public speaking, you can use it for playing instruments live, you can use it for playing radio and music just at a party or any location you are. And the very cool thing is, as I mentioned, that it is chargeable, which means you just charge it up and you're ready to go. So that is all from me today on this very cool speaker and headset combination pack. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope it gives you something to think about if you plan to go and play your tin whistle out and about. If you have questions about this item, please do leave them in the comments down below. Hopefully Brian from Flute Shop will come and check those out, answer any queries that you have that I may not have covered. Um, it does come with a very small user manual, so that might help you out on the general workings of the device but it's worth having a little play around and seeing what you can do with it as well. You can find out more information about this speaker on the fluteshop.eu website, linked in the description down below, and up here on the eye, and on screen right here, and you'll also see my previous review of the instruments I had from Flute Shop right here as well. The tune I played today was actually Oh Shenandoah, a tutorial for that will be coming out on Friday, so stay tuned for that one. And I was playing my James Dominic music whistle today, and you can find these whistles on the James Dominic website, again, which I've linked in the description down below. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a great week. I'll see you Friday for O Shenandoah tutorial, but until then, happy whistling. Bye.